Yay! Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I do not like winter. I know, I've said that before, but I really don't like winter. Nonetheless, I am in Pennsylvania, which means that, you know, I do have to deal with all of this stuff. If you are like me, and you live in an area that has to deal with cold winter weather, then that means that you probably have to melt the ice somehow. Now, obviously the most well-known way to melt ice is using rock salt, but that's not necessarily your best option. Let me show you. There are actually a lot of different options available for melting ice on your walkways and on your driveways, and they are not all the same. You can see a chart on the back of this bag of calcium chloride that just compares some of the different options available. The 3300 is just normal rock salt. And that is by far the cheapest method available. However, if you have cement or pavement, rock salt will actually break down your cement and cause it to crumble. Rock salt can cause thousands of dollars worth of damage. So uh, it might seem like a cheap option when you buy the bags, but if you have to get new cement on your uh, driveway or on your sidewalk, all of a sudden that is not cheap, nor is it easy. Now, normally I like getting the cheapest of whatever I can get, but uh, when it comes to melting ice, I go for the calcium chloride, which is often the most expensive option that you'll find at a hardware store or at a Lowe's or a Home Depot or someplace like that. This stuff costs about $40 for the large bag, and I admit, that's, uh, that's a pretty penny to pay, but this stuff is tremendously effective. It has a very, very, very low melting temperature, which means that this will melt snow and ice even when rock salt has stopped working. Plus, this will not break down your concrete, and that to me is worth its weight in gold. Now, there are in-between options. Uh, very often times, I'll see the 4300, which is actually a blend of sodium chloride, which is regular rock salt, and magnesium chloride, and it also has an additive that's supposed to inhibit corrosion. It is about half of the price of one of these bags, but still twice the price of normal rock salt. I really can't speak as to how safe it is to use on your concrete. I can only tell you that the packaging says that it inhibits corrosion. There's also more environmentally friendly options, and uh, I, I suspect that they are a little bit better. They are higher on the scale here, and uh, they're also kind of expensive. Here's another little tip. When I'm spreading my ice melt over the driveway, I use one of these. This is a lawn spreader. It's typically used for fertilizer. You just load up the bin with ice melt here, and then you can spread it around the same way that you would fertilizer. Now, you don't want to leave it in here. I keep my ice melt in a plastic storage tub so that it's sealed away from moisture because if this stuff gets wet, uh, if it ends up being stored in an area where there's a lot of dampness or humidity, then this will solidify and turn into ridiculously hard chunks that are very, very difficult to break apart. And that's a tremendous waste when you're paying $40 a bag. So, there you go. Those are a few of my tips on how I deal with melting ice in suck-ass winter. So, if you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, seeing different options for melting ice around your home. This is Clay Carlino telling you, 
to brave the winter. Be brave.